On to dessert. Rhubarb crumble with custard. Second night of having crumble. What's wrong with these people? This is definitely a crumble off, I'd say. This is Battle of the Crumbles. Izzy heads into battle by chopping rhubarb and adding port. Oh, that's all good. Careful now. Is that too much? Yeah, okay, let's let's call it that. Steady. <laughs> and there, uh, well, you know. Well, that's a lot of port in there. What is wrong with a boozy dessert? In goes caster sugar, and it's left to simmer. I know a crumble, and I know a custard, and I know a crumble and custard. You seem to know everything. For the crumble, Izzy measures out flour. With regards to the crumble topping, it's more about the texture and what you feel with your fingers and your hands. I see. Next, she mixes butter, muscovado sugar and oats before leaving to bake. Izzy is going to be making that custard, yeah? Homemade custard for sure, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt. Looks that way. I've never made my own custard. I'm just trying to keep it authentic and keep the whole evening as real as possible, so I'm going to give custard a go. Fair enough. Izzy begins by heating milk and cream before mixing egg yolks with corn flour, caster sugar and vanilla extract. Who needs to go to the gym? Time to add the milk. If this gets messed up, it could go lumpy, it could be the wrong consistency. We love to mix it up. We love to mix it up. Come on, Izzy, concentrate. Oh, dear. It's going all lumpy. Oh! I kind of distracted myself and wasn't paying attention, so I'm going to try and sieve it. It's coming. It's coming. It just, it just, I'm going to have to put some effort into it. I'm so clever. <laughs> I'm not sure that's helped. How does it taste? I'm so happy. <laughs> it's proper lush. Izzy will assemble the crumble later this evening, and that's prep done. I'm excited. It just doesn't disappoint. This is Izzy. This menu is Izzy all over. On to put, then. I'm really happy. Lovely and brown and crunchy. Izzy dishes up the rhubarb. On goes the crumble, followed by a dollop of whatever that is. Yeah, it looks like mashed potato. So I'm going to try and jazz it up a little bit. Not sure that's helped. Here it is, rhubarb crumble with mashed potato. I mean custard. Yeah, rhubarb and custard, one of my favourites. I'm assuming this is homemade. It is homemade. Yeah, I can tell. Why can you tell it's homemade? Oh, shucks. I've dug myself in a hole. Because <laughs> it's not runny. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it, it tastes nice. Guess yeah. Off. Fair play for having a go. I've seen worse. I'll take that as a compliment. That is a compliment. <laughs> and with the night drawing to a close, Izzy's got one final flourish. So if you lift up your plates... Oh, Ooh. yes. Underneath, turn it over. Have you seen The Sound of Music? No. <laughs> Have you not? No, no, I really haven't. This doesn't bode well. Do a dear, a oh no, please. Dear Ray, a drop of golden sun. Me, a name I call myself. Far. A long, long way to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt. That is enough. The crumble was crunchy. The custard looked like mashed potato, but it tasted okay. I think I won the crumble off for sure. Good effort for Missy, but no, the coal's much better. Wasn't deep enough, wasn't big enough, and I was left wanting more. And nobody should ever be left wanting more crumble. I exceeded my expectations, um, so I think I deserve a nine. Scores, please! Really pleasantly surprised with the food tonight. I had a great time, and Izzy definitely deserves a nine. Good entertainment, um, let down on the food, so I'm going to score a seven. The food was really good. The only thing that I let her down was the dessert. But overall, it was a really good night. So because of that, I give Izzy an eight. Great girl. Really good fun. Food was a little bit hit and miss in places. So tonight, I'm going to give her a big gangster seven. Which means Izzy can hold her head high as she backs herself a respectable 31 points. Next time, a difficult diner. Mark, where do I start? Did I ruin your night, babe? No, you didn't ruin my night at all. Wearing that, I would have sent you home. So I should have had a tie. I didn't have a tie. Still looks hot, though. And someone backs the cash. Oh.